Hey what's going on guys, it's Brandon here and welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel today. We have another NBA 2K19 rebuild where we are taking on uh, the Los Angeles Lakers. Hope you guys are enjoying these type of videos. If you are, hit that like button, subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. And uh, like I said, the Lakers, it's going to be a lot of fun with LeBron James. Um, we'll see what happens uh, with the young guys and how they grow. Brandon Ingram needs to be really good. Um, Lonzo Ball needs to be really good. Kyle Kuzma. Uh, Josh Hart is there. So a, a nice young uh, group uh, for sure. And then in the free agency, if you guys haven't heard, there is a rumor out there that Kevin Durant could be thinking about leaving Golden State to join the Los Angeles Lakers. So obviously we're going to try and do that. Um, if not, then, you know, he'll probably go back to Golden State and we lose out on that. But if we can get him, that would be amazing. Um, and then we should have enough money for a third star because basically we're only paying LeBron here. Um, and then the young guys on their rookie contracts. So if we can, maybe we can grab DeMarcus Cousins, um, DeAndre Jordan, Hassan Whiteside tends to opt out sometimes. So maybe we can grab a pretty good center. If not, then may maybe we can draft like Bull Bull. Um, or Gafford if we can even move up in draft or if we don't make the playoffs uh, maybe they'll drop to us so we'll see what happens um, let's go ahead and let's uh, look at the game plan here the rotation uh, we're not starting Rondo uh, we are starting Lonzo Ball um, and then we are starting Kyle Kuzma um, but we're gonna play him at the four we're gonna put LeBron actually at the two um, or no we'll keep LeBron at the three that's fine uh, Rondo Pope Hart uh, Stevenson we won't play Beasley and uh, that should be it. Uh, I do want to send a couple guys to the G League. So we'll go ahead and do that um, in a little bit as well. So Rondo, you're going to get like 23. Uh, Pope, you're going to get like 15. Um, Josh Hart, I want to be more of the six man on this team. And Stevenson, you're going to get like 10. So we'll roll with that. And then Javel, you're going to get like 20 minutes a game. Uh, Kuzma, you're going to get like 32. LeBron, you're getting 38. Um, Brandon Ingram, you're going to get like 35 and Lonzo Ball, you're going to get like 35 as well. Actually, let's bump them up to 36, Kyle Kuzma up to 34 and we'll, uh, we'll move, uh, Hart up to 28. So we'll go with something like that. Um, and I'll see you guys after season number one, actually real quick. I do want to send some guys to the G league. Um, I want to send Bonga to the G league and I want to send Wagner to the G league um, Zubach, we don't need to send to the G League. We'll send, um, uh, however you say his name, um, to the G League. So, because they won't obviously play, um, very much. So, I'll see you guys after season number one. Okay, so we went 42 and 40. Not bad. I don't know if that's enough to make the playoffs. Um, but I feel like this seems a little bit better than 42 and 40. Um, maybe like between 46 and 50 wins. I feel like they're like a 6, 7, 8 seed, uh, type of thing, but... We'll see. So Steph wins MVP. Uh, Donut Chicken wins Rookie of the Year. Sixth Man of the Year is Tyreek Evans. LeBron James, Defensive Player of the Year. 28.8 points per game. 9.4 rebounds. 7.9 assists. Um, I guess he had a big year. Uh, Nick Nurse, and they win 72 games. Holy moly. Toronto is OP in this game. Uh, DeMarcus Cousins uh, for Golden State. He win, or he gets on the All-NBA first team um, along with Steph. And then the second team doesn't have actually anyone else from them. Porzingis, Kawhi, though, makes it. Jimmy Butler makes it. Russell, Paul George, uh, Ben Simmons, and Nikola Jokic. LeBron, obviously, on the All-NBA first team. Um, but, yeah, that's he's the only guy that we got from the Lakers that got on all uh, on any of the teams. So, uh, kind of disappointing. So, uh, let's go ahead. And we are the eight seed. We are probably going to get swept. Um, Utah, the four. Minnesota, five. Houston 3, Denver 6, OKC 2, San Antonio 7. Um, so not bad. And then let's go ahead and look at the player stats here. So LeBron, 28.8 points per game. 19 points per game for Kuzma, along with 6.7 rebounds. Brandon Ingram, only 13.8 points per game. Wow, I played you a lot too, and you still didn't do anything. That's really disappointing. JaVale McGee, 12.6 rebounds. Uh, that's pretty good in the limited minutes I gave him. Lonzo Ball, 9.5 and 9.9. Josh Hart, 8.8 .8, um, off the bench. Rondo, 5.9 and 7 assists. So, kind of disappointed in Brandon Ingram. Not kind of, really disappointed in Brandon Ingram. But Kyle Kuzma had a really good year. So, I'm pretty happy with that. So, let's go ahead and get into the playoffs here. We're probably going to get swept. Never mind, we won game one. Um, Golden State wins game two and three. They win game four and they beat us. So, they beat us in five. Um, I mean, 
not surprised. Um, you know, they're obviously really good. Uh, Golden State and wow, they get swept by like, come on, man. Toronto is way too OP in this game. Like, it's ridiculous. Um, let's go ahead. Like, it's ridiculous. Uh, draft lottery. We're not going to have anything in the draft lottery, so we'll go ahead and skip that. We do have the 19th pick. Um, maybe we can move up from there. We'll see. I don't think so. We'll probably just take someone and send them to the G League. Um, I would love to maybe move up into, like, 8 to 10 and grab, like, Gafford or Bull Bull um, if they're there. But um, if not, then, well, you know. Uh, it depends on, you know, obviously free agency and stuff too. Um, so step signing, we'll go ahead and keep uh, Luke Walton. Um, we'll get and sign Navarro and we'll go ahead and sign um, maybe Newman as our assistant coach. And then trainer, we're good. Scouting, we're fine. Um, and yeah, we're actually pretty good. So we'll go ahead and do those two things and I'll see you guys uh, at the draft. So I didn't do anything in this draft. I actually traded our pick and along with like next year's first round pick, for actually the um, to the Celtics, um, and we took the uh, the Clippers pick that the Celtics have, which will hopefully be a top pick in next year's draft. Um, they did draft Zion Williamson, so we'll get the Clippers pick wherever they are next year, um, which I am perfectly fine with. So Zion and RJ Bear go one and two, Langford three, and so on and so forth. Um, and uh, yeah, we didn't really go for anyone. We could have like went for like Gafford, who was like at twelve. Um, but uh, you know, we, we didn't we didn't take it. It's fine. Um, so I'm I'm fine with that. So we don't have any rookies. Obviously, we want to spend most of our money here in free agency and grab some top um, free agents. So uh, we are gonna accept him. Actually, he's gonna be a 77 overall. So I am okay with that. And look at the decline in here. Kevin Durant, Kyrie, Jimmy Butler. Um, let's see. White Whiteside accepted. So that's kind of a bummer. But we can go out and get Demarcus Cousins. Um, we can go out and get. Um, let's see, uh, Porzingis, no, he's restricted, um, DeAndre Jordan possibly, Clay Thompson possibly, so we're obviously going to offer a lot of money to these guys, um, I'm going to offer the max to Kevin Durant, um, I'm going to give him a player and a no trade clause, so yeah, let's, uh, let's offer Kevin Durant that, um, I'm going to offer DeMarcus Cousins a, a big deal as well, hopefully we can... Uh, actually, I don't think we can sign both of them. Hmm. Worst case scenario, though, if we can get Cousins, that'd be great. So we'll offer him as much as we can. No trade clause. And we are good to go on that. And let's go ahead and offer... Um, we could offer Clay. But then we, we've got to move guys around. I don't know if I want to do that. Um, we could offer DeAndre Jordan. Who else would I want? I don't see anyone that I really want. Hmm, I mean, I guess Butler would be like our last, or I guess Clay. Let's offer Clay a deal. Um, if he takes it, great. Um, but I don't know if we're going to actually sign that. So let's hope we can get Kevin Durant here. Um, hope, hope, hope that we can get Kevin Durant. Come on, give me Kevin Durant. There we go. So we can sign Kevin Durant. Um, we're going to renounce everyone and see if we could possibly afford DeMarcus Cousins. We cannot. How much money do we need to get both of them? Um, I don't think it's going to be possible. Yeah, I don't know. If we renounce everything. Because the only guys that we have on our cap right now. Lonzo, Ingram. We would probably have to trade Ingram. And even then, I don't think that's enough. Yeah, we. there's no way. Because 60... 70 yeah there's i don't think there's any way unfortunately we'd have to get rid of both lonzo and brandon ingram i think which obviously we're not going to do so we won't get demarcus cousins which is kind of disappointing but we are getting kevin durant so i'm not going to complain um we're going to actually cap hold javel we're going to keep javel um we're going to get rid of if i can sign rondo later that'd be great um and then actually let's cap hold zuba because we do need a center um, and we'll go ahead and renounce that. So, Clay Thompson has decided to stay with Golden State, obviously. Um, and, um, oh yeah, we want, we would have to choose between those two, obviously. So, let's, uh, keep on going with that. So, cap hold, cap hold, and yeah, we're good with that. So, let's go ahead and do that. Agree, cap hold. Just want to make sure it doesn't change anything on me. And there you go. So, 
Huh, free agency at day one. Let's look at our roster. Um, so we have Lonzo and Bonga. We I want to try and get Rondo, but I don't think he might be gone already. Um, if you win the, those first three days, we have these two uh, coming off the bench. Uh, these three will be starting. So we'll go like, and then Kuzma, I guess, will have come off the bench. I mean, Kuzma was better than Ingram, though. We could have Ingram come off the bench and be our sixth man. Um, and we don't have a center um, because we've got to sign them. Bird rights, we could sign. He's a restricted. Hmm. Okay, so what do we want to do here now? So we have one. I want to back a point guard. Two. We could play him if we need to. Three, four, five, six seven so we need a center and a backup point guard then okay so if we can keep zubac and um if we can keep let's see if we can keep uh javel mcgee as well as unless he's gone javel might be gone yeah i even cap holding him and he's gone now okay um then let's go ahead and rondo's gone as well huh Ooh, that's rough um okay then i guess we'll we'll just play bonga I hope he improves. So, or cap holding. Okay, so we're cap holding with both of these guys. Um, where is Javel? Like, I don't even see him on here. Like, where? Oh, there he is, 78. So, I mean, we could sign him to a one year, 4.91. Um, how much is Zubac offer or wanting? Because we might not be able to afford both of them. Um, let's see. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Uh, there he is at 75 overall. And yeah, he's asking for 7 mil a year. Okay. Hmm. Let's um offer him a one-year deal. And we will offer Javel a one-year deal as well. I want both of them. Um, and we'll just do something like that. Um, so we're going to go ahead and match and sign. We'll just do that. I'm okay with that. Okay, so yeah, we're going to get Javel on a minimum deal, uh, which uh, which is awesome. Cool. So we're all good with that. I can't believe we have Kevin Durant. That's insane, man. We have Kevin Durant. Um, okay, so how... I mean, I don't even know how this is going to go. I'll see you guys at training camps. Okay, so here in training camps, look at these two names. Oh my god, it's insane. Okay, so let's go ahead and give untapped potential to Brandon Ingram, Lonzo Ball, and we'll give it to uh, Kyle Kuzma as well. So there you go. Let's get into it. Advance, yes. And let's look at the rotations here, which is going to be kind of crazy. Um, so I'm going to put Durant at the four. Or you know what? How do I want to do this? We're going to start Kuzma. So we're going to go... Who do I want at the two? We'll do this. We'll go LeBron, Durant, Kuzma. And then JaVale at center. Um, JaVale, we're only going to give 20 minutes a game, though. Brandon Ingram, you're coming off the bench at 28. Hart, you're coming off the bench at 26. 15, 10. Um, you're not playing. And you're not playing. Um, and, I mean, yeah. It's kind of a mess. Not going to lie. Um, so, we're going to give you 34, 36, 30. I mean, we can give them 38. Um, 30. And we have one more minute. Let's give it to... Look at our minutes per position. It's totally just not good. <laughs> um, we'll give Lonzo 35. We'll go with that. So there you go. There's the rotations. We'll see how that goes. Um, but I'm actually pretty happy about this. Um, I mean, I guess... Yeah, we'll just... Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, cool. I'll see you guys after this season. Um, we'll see how Kevin Durant and LeBron do on the same team. We win 64 games. We go 64 and 18. LeBron is MVP with Kevin Durant. What? 25.5 a game, 8.1, 8.6 assists, 1.4 steals. LeBron went off this season. Zion Williamson is rookie of the year over with the Clippers. Hopefully the Clippers didn't have a good record because then we get their pick, which it makes this team even more OP. Uh, Dennis Schroeder, 18 a game, a six man Kawhi Leonard, defense player of the year, most improved Bobby Portis, and coach of the year is Luke Walton. So, let's see here. So, LeBron on the all NBA first team, Jokic is on there, Giannis is on there. Um, second team, Lonzo is on there, 12 a game, 13.5 assists. Holy moly! All right, there, there we go. Let's go, Lonzo. Um, and then Kevin Durant. Averaged 22 a game, 5.5 rebounds, 5 assists a game, and he was really good. He actually improved from last year. Um, and then, let's see. 
Uh, Towns is on there as well. All NBA, all, all defensive first team. All Depot, Wall, Leonard, Davis, and Gobert. Uh, Whiteside, Giannis, Green, Murray, and Butler on there. All rookie first team. Um, Zion, uh, Cameron Reddish, uh, RJ Barrett, 13 a game with New York. Um, and then let's see, Langford was with Orlando, 8 a game. So here we go. Uh, going into the playoffs, we are the number one seed. Um, we play the Denver Nuggets, and I want to look at the rest of the player stats here. So LeBron at 25, 22 for KD. Kyle Kuzma at 15 and 5. Brandon Ingram only at 12, 3 and 3. Lonzo 12 and 13. Javelle 8 and 5. Um, Josh Hart off the bench had 7 a game. Um, not, I mean, Brandon Ingram as a 6 man though at 12 a game. That's not bad. I mean, I'll take that. Why not? You know, I mean, honestly, next year we could go with these five just starting. And we'll put like... Kevin Durant at center. I mean, if we wanted to, we could do it. Um, if we wanted to, I don't know. That might be a bit, a bit much there though. Um, so let's see. Game one, we do win. Playing against Denver, they had a losing record at 39 and 43. Jeez, they still made the playoffs. We're up 3-1, and we win that series pretty easily. Um, now we play Utah. Houston and Golden State are going uh, up against each other in the on the other side, um, and we win. Uh, okay. We're up 3-1, and we win that series as well. And we play Golden State. So Kevin Durant uh, playing his former team um, here in the Western Conference Finals, and they win game one. Steph went off. Draymond, Livingston, Jordan Bell, Clay. Um, they lost um, DeMarcus Cousins. So they still have their big three, though, of Curry, Green, and Clay. Um, so that's not bad. But we lost game one. We win game two. We win game three, we win game four, and we win game five. Now, it's the Toronto Raptors, the most OP team, apparently, in freaking 2K. It's ridiculous. We win game one, we win game two, we win game three. Oh, I wanted the sweep. Uh-oh. Okay, well, we're going to go ahead and simulate this game. We are at home. We should be able to win this game. Okay, we're up by 10. Here we go. We were up 3-0. Like, come on, man. Come on, KD and LeBron. Like... Oh, uh, we're up by nine, four seconds to go, and we win by six. Um, let's look at the box score. Kevin Durant, 29. LeBron, 28, 16 assists. Kyle Kuzma at 24, um, and then the rest. But there we go. We get the win, and we are champions after two seasons. That's all it took. LeBron wins MVP, 21 a game, eight rebounds, and nine assists a game. And we are, I mean, you know what? We're going to go for go for back-to-back. 100%. Um, looking at player retirements real quick, just in case anyone um, retired that we um, that we obviously want, but we didn't. All right, draft lottery. Let's see the Clippers. How did the Clippers do? Okay, so we have the second overall pick. Or, well, we have the second. Yeah, they were the second worst team in the league, and we got the third overall pick. I will take that. Um, we also have the 2020 draft class. I believe it's good. If not, we're going to have to change that. Um, I forgot to look, but no, it's good. Cool. So James Wiseman, Vernon Carey. Oh, if we can move up to two and get Vernon Carey, unless he goes one, B minus 80 overall. Ooh, I really want Vernon Carey. Cole Anthony would be nice, but we already have a point guard. I really want Vernon Carey, man. Hmm. Mm -mm. Oh, I mean, James Wiseman's at seven. James Wiseman's seven feet? Really? Ooh, you know what? I might try and make a trade. What if we gave him, like, Josh Hart and our pick? You know? I don't know. We'll see. Let's look at the staff, though. Um, we do need a head scout, so we're going to go ahead and just sign this guy. And I will see you guys at the draft. I don't know what to do here. It'd be interesting. Um, hmm. We're going to go ahead and sign him. Let's go to the draft. Um, who has the number one pick again? I forgot. Uh, uh, mock drafts. Uh, the Magic. All right. Let's work with the Magic and see Trade Finder. Oh, wow. We can't trade anyone. Oh, because they're all free agents. <clears throat> That's not good. Um... Let's see. It's a magic with the first um, overall pick. Hmm. Oh, my God. I would give him Josh Hart. I mean, we could trade. 
after the draft. Maybe one of them will fall to me. All right, let's do that. Um, we'll trade after the draft. Um, so let's see who Orlando takes. I want James Wiseman. Okay, so we're going to go after James Wiseman. Okay, so Vernon Carey is available. Do we get Vernon Carey? The Pistons had two picks in the top four. Wow, that's actually pretty good for them. Um, He's a 74 overall. Oof. Okay, well, I definitely want to try and get James Wiseman. We might try and do that after this draft. We'll see. Um, I'll see you guys at free agency. But we might try and make that deal. Or 76. It's not bad, but yeah, I want James Wiseman, man. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and accept all of these deals um, 100%. Um, all of our young guys are looking good. Obviously, we're coming off of a championship, so everyone, you know, should have been pretty good. And then we're going to qualify, send a qualifying offer to Brandon Ingram. I don't know if I want to... Uh, I mean, I guess we could keep him. I don't know. Um, we do have Vernon Carey, who is going to be um, our center. Um, but see, Zubog is better. And Vernon Carey is 77 overall. I mean, he's six foot ten. Hmm. Or do I want James Wiseman? I don't know. I mean, is he? Who's like the better defender? I guess. Let's see. Acrobat, rim protector, expressive, extremely confident. He has five badges. Um, C plus. So he's not a very good scorer, but defensively he's good overall potential a minus let's go ahead and look at wiseman here he's an 81 overall um and let's see inside he's a little bit better offensively not as good defensively i guess a plus potential you know what i'll keep vernon carry because he's a better defender and that's what we need so i'm okay with that so let's go ahead and look at our roster then we got ball and bonga um who's pretty good um, so I'm fine with that. Um, let's go ahead and look at the, oh, actually he didn't play last year very much. So he'll be our backup point guard. Um, Hart, um, will be our two. So, well, he won't start, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, um, eight. And then Brandon Ingram will be nine. We won't play Zubac, I guess. Um, I don't know. That's kind of tough, but yeah. That's probably what we'll do because I do want to sign Brandon Ingram. Um, yeah, I do want to keep him. So we'll go ahead and do that. We do have bird rights on him, uh, which makes it obviously really easy to sign him. We could obviously match as well because he's a restricted free agent. So um, yeah, from the Kings, we'll just match that. That's less money. Um, and so we'll go ahead and do that. So we'll match and renounce on those three. Um, has decided to sign. Well, yeah, but we matched. What do you mean? Um, okay, so we're going to just... You know what? We're just going to agree. There we go. Cap hold. Do I want a cap? No, we'll just renounce. Um, and we should be good. Cool. I'll see you guys at training camp. Okay, so here in training camps, um, we are going to give Vernon Carey untapped potential. Um, I want him to be really good this year. We'll give... Uh, is Lonzo already an A+. Plus? No, he's not. We'll give Brandon Ingram for sure, which he didn't move. And we'll give it to Lonzo Ball because um, he is starting. So... Uh, we are good to go on that. Let's go ahead and finish the roster up and coach game plan. So Lonzo, um, we'll start LeBron at the two and we'll put, um, or wait, how did I do it last year? Do I want to start Kuzma? We'll go ball, LeBron, Durant, Kuzma, carry. Yeah, I'm good with that. I'm good with that. Brandon Ingram will be off the bench. Hart will be off the bench. Wagner, Bonga will be off the bench and that will be our nine. So Zubac won't play. Um, which is fine. And then let's see, we have 21 minutes. So obviously you're going to get 30 minutes. You're going to get 30. Um, you're going to get like 34, 34. Um, and then let's see, let's lower Wagner 15, 10. Um, Ingram will give 25, 23, something like that. Um, and then let's go ahead and give you 35, 36. And, uh, I mean, 35. We can do something like that. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay, cool. I'll see you guys after this season where I think this team is even better, um, which is crazy. So trying to go for a back-to-back. -back. Let's see what happens. Okay, weird year. We only go 49 and 33. 
Like, what happened? Um, oh crap, I skipped that. Whoops. Um, all NBA first team Zion Williamson. Whoa, with the Clippers. Okay, that's impressive. Um, LeBron, only 22 a game, 7 and 7. Lonzo Ball, 11 and 13. Um, and then Kevin Durant, 23, 5 and 5. Um, okay. I'm not sure why we got worse because everyone got better individually and we had the same team. We got, I mean, we improved with Vernon Carey over um, JaVel McGee, who had 10 and 6 a game. So I'm not really sure. James Wiseman averaged 13 and 7. I'm guessing he won Rookie of the Year. Um, but yeah, I'm not really sure what happened with that. Um, we are the third seed. Houston got the number two, Phoenix number one seed. So hopefully we can repeat. Um, we have the talent to do so. We just didn't have a good year. We sweep Denver. Um, so, sorry Denver, but we keep on beating you back-to-back -back years. Um, now, okay, Houston, uh, they beat us out by one game. We win, we're up 3-0, we sweep Houston. Holy moly, okay, and Phoenix loses in the first round. Like, oh, they have Blake Griffin and DeRozan. What the, oh, that's the Spurs. I was like, wait, what? Um, but that's, and they have Andre Drummond. Whoa, the Spurs went off. Um, Josh Jackson, Booker, Ayton. Uh, Okubo, TJ Warren, Bridges. It's a good team. Um, okay, so the Spurs, Lakers, uh, we lose game one, we win game two, we win game three, we win game four, and we win game five. So, repeat with the Raptors. Last year we went to seven. This year we win game one. We've also almost blew a 3 0 lead, um, which would have sucked. We're up 3 0. Same position as last year. Will we blow it? Um, I mean, we still won game seven last year, but you know. Okay, we lose game four. Is the same thing going to happen? Okay, we won in six. I was going to say, is the same exact thing going to happen? Um, we do win the finals. Kevin Durant this time wins MVP. And we win back-to-back -back years for the heck of it. I'm just going to kind of skip through all of this. I'll show you guys the roster. Um, actually, I'll just skip to the after the season. I want to see if we can 3 -peat. Okay, so we won 55 games. Um, Lonzo Ball wins MVP. 12.8 points per game. 13 assists, 6 rebounds. That's crazy. Um, Cho just wins Rookie of the Year. Bull Bull wins Sixth Man of the Year. Anthony Davis, Defense Player of the Year. Uh, Yusuf Nurkic, uh, Most Improved. And Coach of the Year, Nick Nurse in Phoenix. Okay, so Phoenix is going to be really tough this year. They won 64 games. On the ball on all NBA first team. Uh, second was LeBron uh, on that team. Um, and then Kevin Durant was on the third team at 24.5. And uh, LeBron, 21, 6, and 8. Uh, all defensive first team, we didn't get anyone. Second team, we did not get anyone. Um, and we didn't have any rookies. So, we are the second seed taking on uh, Dallas. Let's see if we can uh, go with a 3P. Um, all of our guys are getting older. Obviously, LeBron is getting older. We'll see what happens. I do want to look at the rest of the season stats, though. 24-21. Uh, Kuzma, 16, and 5. Ball, 12.8, and 13. Ingram with 12, uh, Vernon Carey 11 and 6.8, um, Hart with 7 and 3, um, and so on and so forth. So, there you go. I mean, same, pretty much the same old, same old. Uh, we win game 1, we win game 2. Is this going to be the third year in a row where we just absolutely destroy Denver? Okay, they're fighting back. We're up 3-2, and we win 4-2. But for the third year in a row, we knock out Denver. I'm sorry, Denver. I feel so bad. Um, and then Phoenix loses again they won 64 games and they lost again they had alan i actually like alan williams in this game a lot um buddy Hill they have and uh okubo yeah they have a good team but they lost again to minnesota and minnesota beats us uh and they beat us again okay what's going on they're up 3-1 are you serious who the heck is on minnesota like don't do this don't what okay well minnesota is pretty good apparently um view box score who's on that team towns butler wiggins semantic who the heck is semantic uh jones okay come on man anyways there you go we should have three-peated but whatever ben simmons wins uh mvp and uh we lost in the western conference finals we were getting older so you know i guess at that point it was like it was like yeah it's, it's time like lebron is what how old 37 kd 33 like they're probably all hitting that age but i mean these guys I, i'm sorry but brandon ingram 92 overall 
to only be able to score 12 points a game getting nearly 30 minutes a game that's not good that's not good at all let's see oh uh, you got only 25 minutes a game but still per 36 only 17 points per game like it should be in the 20s you know like that's that's ridiculous so anyways hope you guys enjoyed if you did hit that like button subscribe if you guys are new to the channel lebron james kevin durant teaming up in la we'll see if it happens what do you guys think will it happen there's a rumor that it's possible we'll see you never know you never know but hope you guys enjoyed hit that like button if you did subscribe if you guys are new to the channel i'll see you guys in the next video later guys